Hey y'all. So um, I'm doing things a little bit different this time. Usually I'm always uh, glammed up and stuff, but I actually just got finished walking and working out. Um, but this video is so long overdue. I'm actually um, doing my six month update. My six month post op was April 7th. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, tell y'all about a couple things. So of course everybody is um, like in quarantine and well, not quarantine, but basically on lockdown. I know here in Alabama, we um, have a shelter in place order. So yeah, my anxiety has been like through the roof. So two weeks ago, a little bit over two weeks ago, I decided to start doing 5.30 a.m. Um, workouts. So get up, I'm not gonna walk. First I started off at a mile. Then the next week I um, went up to a mile and a half. And this week I'm um, up to two miles. So this morning was my first day walking two miles. And it feels so good. Um, I really enjoy getting up and walking in the mornings and um, like having time to myself, not just for the exercising purposes, but it helps me with my anxiety to like clear my mind and stuff, you know, before the day starts, before anybody wakes up in my house. So yeah, that's my new thing. And I've been doing kettlebell, doing the kettlebell and my jump rope. I started meal prepping. I actually started meal prepping last week. Um, it just helps me. It helps me so much because that way I don't really have to think about what I'm going to eat. I just have a couple options. So I'll, I'm going to insert a couple videos from last week, me meal prepping, and, um, and from this week. So last week I meal prepped some egg muffins, some salmon, some grilled chicken wings and chicken thighs, and some broccoli. And this week I meal prepped Mediterranean salmon, some, I did some um, chicken in the air fryer and I used that chicken um, so that I could do um, grilled chicken salads, some pizzas, some little pizzas on like a little flatbread and I used some of that chicken for that. That's it, that's about it. Everything has been going good. I hit like a little, I'm not gonna really say a stall, but I, I gained, I don't know if that was, me gaining muscle or what but i gained four pounds but and i stayed off i was avoiding the scale like the plague like it was bad but um so i didn't weigh myself for two weeks but probably like not not two weeks but probably about 10 days in 10 days 10 days i hadn't got on the scale and i got on and your girl was so excited because I had dropped eight pounds, eight pounds in less than two weeks. So I got back on track and I'm doing a dang old thing, y'all. I'm so close to, um, to 100 pounds and I'm so ready to get there. I had all these big plans on doing a photo shoot. I was really, what I was gonna do was do a, a redo photo shoot from last year for my birthday late, um, Cause I did a 30th birthday shoot, but I really didn't like how the pictures looked. I felt like I looked uncomfortable. I'll insert a couple of pictures. The pictures were beautiful, but I just want to do a, a redo, you know, with the new me and plus celebrating me um, losing 100 pounds. And my birthday isn't until May 30th, so maybe things will be open back up by then, but who knows? So yeah i'm gonna celebrate big even if i have to even my husband take pictures of me but i'm almost there i'm five pounds down and i am 78 pounds from from my goal weight which is 180 pounds i would actually i wouldn't mind losing more than that i wouldn't mind being 160 but um 180 is my ultimate goal and i'm just trying to get there i'm 78 pounds away and y'all i made the biggest mistake I told my husband that we could start trying for baby number three once I hit my goal weight. But that goal weight is creeping up on me real quick. 
<laughs> but we'll see. We will see. I'm praying that I can hit my um hit my goal, you know, by the one year mark. But we'll see. We will see. I'm just enjoying this adventure, trying to keep taking my vitamins. Oh yeah. Let me tell y'all. So I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all, my hair is growing. It's a little nappy because <laughs> I slip on this. But all my edges have come back. I'll send y'all, um, I'll insert some pictures um, that I took the other day. But my edges are coming back. So those vitamins are working. So right now I'm taking Centrum one a day. That's what my doctor's office um that's what they suggested and it's for age 50 and up but they said because of the surgery there's so much stuff that you're lacking so that vitamin um helps so i take one of those a day i take two twenty thousand mcgs of biotin um and i take a prenatal sometimes i take the prenatal sometimes i don't and hold on Mommy. yes baby I was looking for you when you were close. I thought you were in your room. No, I'm sitting out here. I'm making a video. I'll be in in just a second, okay? Okay. All right. I'll be in in like five minutes. So I also use Wild Growth Oil, and my cousin gave me this oil that's really good, too, but I don't know the name of it. I'm going to ask her um, what it is, what the name of it is. It has been working miracles because... It's been less than two months and my edges are completely back and my hair is growing and starting to thicken back up again. Everything has been going good. I feel like um, my stress level has gone down since I've started walking and stuff. So, you know, I'm hanging in there trying to lose this weight, trying to be summertime fine. Now, um, I'm going to put some before and afters in. I'm going to insert some pictures so that y'all can see the difference of me last year and this year. I'm so proud. I'm proud of, um, I'm proud. I'm proud of myself because I'm sticking to this. I'm bettering myself and I'm just trying to be the best version of me. And thank God for my journey because it's getting me there. I can tell the difference like in everything. I don't breathe as hard when I'm walking now. I like, I enjoy stuff. I can do squats y'all kettlebell squats i be doing those that's my six month update if y'all have any questions please feel free to um leave comments um in the comment section and i will get back with you as soon as i can y'all go follow my journey and y'all can see more day-to-day -day stuff on instagram at losing with lawson's that way you can see more in depth and i usually post on my story every day too so y'all can keep up with my daily workouts and stuff Alright y'all, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!